I got a package yesterday. Uh, I took a little peek in, so I know what it is. Um, my servos have arrived. It's uh, come from China, so I'm gonna just... Uh, it's only taken a couple of days, or well, about a week, so it's, it's a lot faster than usual, so I'm pretty happy with that. I sent off uh, a message to the seller and saying, hey, I bought a couple of these from you before, so yeah, could you toss me some free stuff? And he was showing me these, I don't know what they are, but uh, so these are the free stuff. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way of making use of them. These are extra servo mounts. I'm gonna put these aside. I have no idea. what they are originally for and how they go together. Yeah, so I'm going to just put aside these free stuff and um, maybe look into them at a later stage to check out what they are. So these are the brackets that come with the servos. I don't actually use these. Um, so I'm actually paying extra for these, but uh, they don't seem to have a, an option of uh, not buying these because uh, some more of the big ones. Bunch of screws. Actually, yeah. I bought 20 of the servos and they come in individual packs like this. I use about, I think I use 15 for each of the Colossus uh, of the large servos, but I bought 20 anyway just to, just in case, since I'm going to pay for shipping anyway. So that's two. So they're kind of, they're, well, they're kind of all of a no-name brand, Robot Digital Servo. Um, but I, I like these because they're really good quality. I'm gonna I'm gonna break one open later on. I'm gonna do a bit of testing as well. So it's a whole bunch of these, which I don't usually have a use for, but I might actually maybe incorporate this into a future design since I got so much of these. These are what I want. These are definitely the ones I, I use to attach the servo onto the 3D printed plastic bits. These are these are definitely going to be useful. They always uh, include a business card. Oh, this is a new person, Rita. Um, usually it's somebody else. Maybe I'll send Rita a mail. Then Dongguan. Dongguan is um, one of those uh, manufacturing cities in the south of China, by the coast, kind of near Hong Kong. Uh, yeah, where lots of lots of factories are. So a lot of these aluminum bits, which I which I don't actually use. So let's we can see that's half half the package weight. But what I am interested in is these. I don't even use the screws because I replaced them with my uh, stainless steel screws. It's a bit of a waste, but I can, I'm sure I can use find them find use for them in other projects. So when I receive these, I usually do a bit of a test and the test involves a servo consistency tester thing. This is um, Sonternergy, I, I got this from a Hong Kong mail order site. So very simple little thing that lets me test the servos. And um, a UVAC, this is to bring down the voltage to 5 volts for the servos. This is just a test battery, 12 volt test battery. Yep, fires up extremely bright blue LEDs. The thing to be really careful with the servos. Oh, maybe I'll pop in one of these so you guys can see it a little bit better. Alright. 
the brown line or the black line, depending on the type of wire, is it's a negative. So you got to put it to the negative. Okay. It it already makes a sound, so I kind of I know this works. This is neutral position. So this is just me testing every single one of these servers. I'll go, I'll, I'll go through them. Every single one of them. So yeah, every single server turned out uh, working and um, lots of free stuff. So I'm gonna put some uh, positive feedback for the seller. I'm gonna break open one of these to show you guys the insides of this servo. Yeah, uh, it's got four long screws that hold it all together. I'm just gonna show you that this, these servos are full um, all metal geared servo. So so they're, they're pretty strong. And uh, yeah, they're more than enough to take the weight of the Colossus. So if you've never seen a servo before, maybe I should turn this off. Blue light's really distracting. If you've never seen a servo before, this is this is what it is. It's um, you might be familiar with uh, motors like little RCE ones or little Tamiya ones. Um, essentially, there's a there is a motor in there that you can see that motor in there, and there's a control circuit which is effectively a potentiometer, which is uh, like a dial, turning it one way or the other, but it's um, electronically controlled. And all these gears here are stepping down the rotations per minute of the motor, because the motor rotates really fast. And that little circuit there changes directions. So what the gears do is to change that fast rotation into a slow rotation. So the motor might be ro rotating about well, whatever, a couple thousand RPMs. By the time they get to this servo, might be, you know, single digit RPM. So, so this is a full metal geared servo. Really solid. I think you saw some of these in the previous video from last weekend. Uh, they've grown. So this week, myself and uh, Jasper has been uh, working to get more of these out of the printer. There's a couple of, well, there's quite a lot still in print. So this is uh, most of the superstructure that will form that egg-shaped uh, main body. So the stuff I've got in print right now are the sides and maybe some bits of the turret and uh, the legs and stuff. But the superstructure, the main frame, is built like this. I wanted to design them in a sense, in a way that looks like real construction uh, methods. So there is a superstructure of steel beams, steel, um, and an outer skin, which is uh, printed a different material. So, yeah, I just, just wanted you guys to have a look. So there, there, is, there is progress going on here. Uh, the next bit is that I've been trying to explore new ways of doing my S SLS prints, hopefully making, uh, trying to get some lower cost, uh, because that's where the bulk of my expenses go to. So met up with some guys from a local service provider, but yeah, I've got to explore that a little bit more. So hopefully very soon I can start sending those to print. Those will take about two weeks to print. What else is there? Oh yeah, a bit of announcement. Next week, I will be in Shenzhen. This is in China. It's just across the uh, just across from Hong Kong. I'll probably spend a day in Hong Kong as well. Um, 
and that's when I will be sourcing for parts and maybe well probably buy paint in Hong Kong because uh, it's just that bit slightly cheaper than they are here so yeah so that's it for the week uh, I hope you've learned a little bit or uh, uh, enjoyed what you saw um, most importantly uh, seen that there's a little bit of progress going on over this week uh, if you like this video click on the like and subscribe thanks